Okay, slow and steady. Nice smoke from Spitty. Quite the opposite of slow. That's going to be flying out towards Connector and really locks shocks out of his contributions. Let's see if they play on the other side of it. They do. And coming through the smoke is Faven. Looking for something and oh, oh dearie dear. me. Oh, oh dearie me. It's a disaster. spitty has gone as well. Zai will find himself three in the chaos. I love the game plan. It seems smart, right? You, you're going to be swinging ahead of that smoke as it blooms. They should be gray screen on the way out. Should being the operative word. It was a quickie to get the party started. We'll see that again. This was Apex's first shot real clean as the smoke started to bloom. And then Zai, he could just play around the edge of it. It actually couldn't be a better temporary wall for a, an A-Rush. It's fantastic just to see the individuals of Vitality popping heads, right? They make it look so yeah. simple. And you can see Zywu here just sticking with the USP or the USP for those of you playing at home. Not upgrading into a rifle right now. Wanting to get that AWP up as soon as possible. But look who's getting a little bit naughty here. Masuta pushed up. Flash over the top. Hello, hello. Oh, God. Why are you from East London? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Gavna. Hello, hello. I'm really on the verge of laughing. That's the perfect one. When she, when she does the wheeze, you know, yeah, she actually we've started. actually got her. Yeah, we've well, actually was, tickled it, her. It started because chat was just going, Sarah took the kids. You haven't still Sarah took the kids. Oh, I guess she has it. She hasn't seen all the, <laughs> the may -mays around the Sarah. I'm just, I'm <laughs> <laughs> we, we've lost her. You got her, Twitch chat. You got her. Wow. Congratulations, guys. You did it. <laughs> she's actually losing she's actually it. cackling. This is what I'm saying. When she's having fun, she cackles like a witch. Oh, no, but she's not a witch. She's no, lovely. She's no. Lovely. <laughs> thanks, yeah. Alex. You're really kind about that. So beautifully put. No, but it, it, <laughs> it, it, it's endearing. It's oh, lovely. Thanks. Yeah, it really you've feels a, like that. It's a contagious laugh, you <laughs> hexa. Now, there might be something fun in this round if they keep getting aggressive. I want to point out that Deha has the Zeus. So keep you, keep yourself ready, Alex. Yeah, okay, I'm ready. I know we're playing a bit si of silly business right now, but... What did you expect me to be casting this round, Chad? No, no, no. If oh. Deha with the Zeus gets a kill, we can go... Oh, I'm prepared. Okay. But he's not going to... No, no, wait. He's just... Oh. 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 Mm. So the AWP will come out on the back of Zywood. Just had the USP there. Now has 6,250 <gasps> smackaroos. The price is right. We'll be able to buy the AWP and utility. Let's see if he wants to pick it up early. Now, what I was talking about in the uh, post when we did a little bit of vertigo... The fact is that Masuta is the rock over towards A, RPK is the rock over towards B, and the other three members, Apex, Shox, and Zywoo, it feels like they go wherever they like. So there is a method to the madness, I promise you, but this is a quick A play. They're straight on in here. Oh, I'm favored. Straight ahead of the smoke, Extinguish, spots one dark. Is he really committing to this? He's swinging with his teammates. Masuta draws the fire, though. It should be two for Apex. It is. It's Shox and RPK arriving in quick succession. They could fall in the very same. Nice work from Spitty. We're still playing. Maybe a problem if Shox taps away at the head, but Deha straight through the smoke takes the lion out of the jungle. <laughs> I can't deal with it today. And Shox can't deal with the clutch either. It's going to be closed down in the end, and Sprout kind of, I don't know, the, the pace in which they're throwing themselves in there, it felt kind of like they had to make it stick, but... It, can you can't repeat that. No, I, I really like that call. Yeah. I really like that call. This was, um, look, it is a play that you've been able to do for many a year, right? I called it back in my day when I called it just pouncing on the site. So what you would do is you'd have your best spawns entry fragging straight up the ramp with the flashes coming on over as they're going into the site, making sure to extinguish the Molotov and then the smokes are landing as they're already dealing with the CT so the rotation is locked on out. Now, it will be a force by coming on back here from Vitality. They're still able to get a bunch of M4s out. A famous for RPK and Zywoo with the Deagle, so the baby orb. Yeah, and I kind of favor the M4 setups here. Like, this is going to be a, a, a tough one for Sprout. They need to be able to break through this wall. So hold your breath. This is a crucial one. For Sprout to really get their teeth into a T-side start on their map pick against a, an opposition that favors them individually, I want to see a slew here. I want to see them overcome the M4s, convert to 3-2, then we can start talking about the next steps. Got to see something. I think that's the thing. Vertigo fell pretty flat for them, uh, for Sprout, obviously. And we, we just need to see that reason to believe. And we might just get it here. Let's see what they've got. The mid piece going to come through. Tucked in towards Connector. Apex feels it out. Fine, Snatchy. That's the freebie. Huh? Oh, oh, what okay. the hell? How did that happen? I can't believe RPK was caught off to the point he had his knives out. Must have been a gap in the comms. You can understand why. I mean, Shox was given that responsibility. Now Apex has caught another. Twice through smoke. He doesn't need to see them, apparently. Uh, all right, Apex. And now just Deher and Dennis left alive. Ooh. Damn, great shots through that smoke. So Deher saved them. Deher was responsible. 
for the first, and now it seems that the double Ds are starting to look very appealing. Not for the first time. Maybe Nothing not anymore. Happen, right? Just to D her. If he could tap away at just one of them, they don't know where he is. This is the issue. And so if he catches them on the cross, the transfer wasn't there initially. Down to 43. X-ray off. You're as blind as he is and shocks. He was ready for the swing. Between the two of them, it was the, the olden, the golden oldies. There it is. Three frags for one, two for the other. Apex and shocks bringing home the third. Now, I, I will take some accountability for any X-rays being turned off in clutch moments because I like to see it that way because I think... You'll take accountability. Yeah. Did you put the request in? I did talk to Rush, but I didn't request it. I said okay. I I love clutches where you can see it from their perspective because sometimes it's so easy to imagine that information is readily available and they're working with nothing but intuition. Precisely. And we've even been talking about earlier in the year, Lauren, the fact mm. that when we were in arenas uh, that we would want to turn X-Ray off a little bit more so that the viewer can actually truly appreciate what the players are hearing, seeing and experiencing. Because with the X-Ray on, I've had many, uh, I guess, casual ask me, why don't they just shoot them? They can see them through the walls. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think everyone's had to answer that question to a... Uh as they introduce a new person to the game. Zai Wu with one HP doesn't seem too fussed. He'll just grab a kill in the back of Snatchy. There was a really? lovely gap. A little back, he went and looked. Got one little HP. Cursory glance, Lauren. Yeah. Full, full util, of course. Now pause that out. Going to go through it. Just kind of dump that before uh, it gets taken away and has no further use. So might as well, even if it's earlier than he maybe would have liked. D side left with, what do they have? Uh, two, oh, three deagles. I guess that's a little something. Maybe a little danger could be stirred if we see some uh, pretty shots come through. This guy was obviously the easier, softer target, but he does have support in last round around this area. Apex didn't... Need oh, Christ, how does he get more? Yeah, just another kill for Zywi 1.1 HP. So $1,200 farmed. Certainly good for Europa to be finding the uh, SMG frags, and it, it likely will become a priority of him to find another here, and Apex isn't interested in letting that happen. Faven, quick shot in return. He can take that head off of Shocks or Apex. We were on to something. So that's the 4-1 start. It was just the Deagles, as Lauren outlined, so it will be time for the rifles. It will be time for the battle. Alex, you remember when I say that teams, especially underdog squads, need to buy the respect or earn the respect? When Vitality are playing like this, and they're already quite the aggressive side, they already play a very in-flux version of the game, you need to batter them down so that they do start respecting, because you're seeing the aim on these individuals here. Just one or two bullets with the AK-47, your head's off, away you go. And that confidence, we're going up against Sprout, that is in the mind of Vitality. This is a team that are not in the same realms, they're not even the same universe as Vitality are on a competitive scale. Vitality are used to versing the best teams in the world, week in, week out. For Sprout, yeah. they've been in the realms of Tier 2 and RPK not going to find the frag with the flash. Precisely. You know, it, to, to, to draw a comparison, Vitali Vitality in this stage are Ferrari and Sprout are Renault. Nice shot. Not quite going to find another one. He is. He holds it for the third nice. as well. This is a full buy. It looks like he just had an eco bash. Instead, he's just squandered an entire round right at the start of it. New addition to Vitality. And he's got three scalps affixed to his belt. He has found them. The fifth. Just like that. He looks in fine form today. I think Vertigo was was a really nice introduction to him as a player and now really looking good. And look at this map control. They tried to push up RBK earlier. Yes, a fully blind blame player did manage to kill him, but Shocks regressed anyway. They're just going to close the net. Now they know where the bomb is on the T side. They well, sorry, the CT side has it. They're comfy. Now she gets first contact through connector. You're going to have D her trying to work up off this. They're going to have to dismantle a pretty well held crossfire. Ooh. Isolating Apex is a really good start. But oh. Apparently, oh. Dino did expect shocks, but he still delivers, and the trades are effective, and the players are in number for Vitality. Shocks went full old man eyes there for a second. That's something that I would almost get away with. He didn't see the player in sight. He was just so affixed to the individual on stairs. That actually could have fallen off right quickly. But then he ate his aim, as you discussed. Bailed him out. About three bullets. Bailed him out of that situation. Exactly. So... <laughs> Oh, this here by Masuta. Uh, this is fantastic. Whoa. To stand like this and find three frags. So randy. Yeah, but that, that doesn't happen. That's not something you see every day of the week. So closing that one out, we're already up to a 5-1 lead here from Vitality. They're running away from this. They want to get production home nice and quick here today. We can hear the cheers from here. Pistols will be upgraded in. A little bit of utility. Kevlar on Faven. Head armor for Dennis. So they're sending four players over towards the B apartment. Speedy trying to draw the rotation in middle. Now that he's dead, they will hit the site towards B. So going down without anything is Speedy. Potentially going before his teammates were ready. I want to watch RPK. 
If they okay. continue with this B hit, I, I like watching this guy play because he's normally a very solid player. He may not get all the frags, but I want to see how he approaches it. And for now, he does have the support on short. That will be shocks. Flashed up, turns it. They've left a few out on the site now, but he's going to find Dennis. You do have the support right in the right place of shocks. And it's just mowed down. All the util, whatever they had, it does not matter. OPK didn't have to go to the molly, the flash, or the smoke. He was happy to weather the storm, and he does so. Same with everyone else. Uh, comfort for Vitality so far. I And, and even... Saying comfort, they're not playing lazy CS. They're being proactive. They're pushing extremities. They're playing up mid. They're they're very high progressive. But I, from what I've noted, you guys are definitely saying it. I'm seeing it. Their aggression almost is their normal. It feels like that's very attached to their style. Unless you can tell them that it's not going to work, I don't think they're going to plan to to change the game plan. You have to prove it to them. You have to prove that there has to be more respect in their decision making. Because for now, oh. They've already softened up two of the hardest hitters in Spitty and Snatchy. A run boost to get him across the AWP line. He did catch a glimpse of Apex. I don't think that the same could be said. Vice versa. Just take a note of the CT setup on your radar, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, RPK locking down B, Masuda locking down A, and the rest are in flux. This is an unorthodox setup. Two players in connector and one towards window. Nobody with vent room or short presence whatsoever. Like, there is a clear avenue, Chad, and... With all of our X-Ray and Minimap, we can certainly see that RPK would be screwed if the three of them gathered and got past the Zaiwu and Shock's short wow. spray. But for now, relocating Zaiwu low. Dennis, he'll find it out this time. Nice catch. Now, an advantage for Sprout. They're going to have to advance on this. Going to have to do more than just the first. Masuta, if he goes and flushes this out, oh my god. He's gone for the fight and he's found it with precision. Disappears back off. Ooh. The prong from Palace does fall. Did he? Well, I don't know what the end goal was to this. But now short's open. Snatchy spotted. That's the bomb on Snatchy as well. So they know what's going on here. The CTs can adjust. Bear in mind, Zaiwu is super low. He caught some nades here. So he's not going to be the most proactive, even though you saw him dipping back in on low HP. Snatchy controlling connector. Leaving it down to Apex and Zaiwu to try and muster something up. Oh. Dangerous peaks they're taking here, but Snatchy is keeping in this. Very difficult for Zywoo to win this on seven points of health here. And now that Dennis is on the flank, there should be absolutely no chance. There's no way he's aware of this. What did you say, Chad? Oh, <gasps> the timing. Wait. Hello. Uh, this is huge. They're going to stop looking towards CT spawn. If he creeps up behind them here, he can let this go. He does not have to fight Dennis. Oh my God. Why is he so smart? The other two aren't looking towards this whatsoever. Got a kit. Oh. Oh, okay. Go. It'll have to be frags now and Dennis will catch him, but you're bang on, Chad. There was a window and a window that didn't even exist. Zai, we've got the bloody... What was... Oh, I couldn't tell you what it's called. What are those, you know, in the cartoons and they're robbers and then yeah. they draw on the glass and then they pop out a little circle. I don't know what oh, they're called. A glass cutter. Glass cutters. Yeah. yeah but I, that, was, that was what I was envisioning. There wasn't a window and then Zai kind of made one. Yeah. He's climbing through it at, the, at that point in my uh, half-finished metaphor that I've shared with the world. Well, we're learning how your brain works yeah, as a collective here. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there was anything that could have come to mind to fit that, but I like where you were going with it. It was very cops and robbers. Yeah, kind of, you know, the, the Rick and Morty <laughs> assembling a squad okay, episode. Yep. Now, into the ninth round, away from the cartoon realms. What a tight line from that. He's going to blow a thigh off D-Hair if he has a swing. Oh, it's like Alex on a pistol round. <laughs> Snatchy will swing wide, so... Oh, 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 they're actually going to boost it? That would be phenomenal. I wonder if he gets the line. And that's not enough. It's a tag into d -Hair's elbow. Right on the funny bone. And he ain't laughing. Bomb. There we go. Got the bomb. But Masuta is walking up here. Snatchy... Oh, not quick enough. Masuta lives. The bomb's on the run, though. And that's going to come down to Zywe. We haven't seen him with an AWP too much, but maybe this is a really good debut for me to see that. Bomb now hits the brakes. It looked like he was heading right towards B. And suddenly they're considering, well, where, where do we go now? I feel like they have to go B towards Zywe at this point. If you like, the dink comes in. I don't think that'll even draw the rotation. The bomb will be in limbo. You can see Dihar doesn't know where he wants to go right now. That's an interesting smoke right there for a favor. Covers off jungle. I'm down to clown. 
Yo, okay. Nice. <laughs> That's so bombed good. down. Oh, so yeah. was so good. But the, the bomb's down, and now all he can do is save. So yeah. it was very, very curious right there, the approach. Sprout keep trying to split up and go for fakes. In the earlier gun rounds, they tried to have two players sell it. Masuta lock them out, coming out of Palace. And I want to give uh, a big tick next, or a gold star. Masuta can have a gold star. Just how proactive he has been on this CT side towards a ramp and palace. He's actually really stifling this Sprout attack. Now, with the scoreline at 7-2, to two, I'm not worried about Sprout just yet, but if they can't post more than four rounds on this T side, then we have some real issues that we need to start looking for. As I were just single-handedly dealing with the B attack, it's just like, all right, we'll leave you here. Like, look, let's look at what the French have done to Masuta. This was the rookie cowering in the <gasps> A site when I first tuned in. Luffy. Doggy. Oh, he's got the heterochromy of the oh, eyes. The eye thing yeah. is it was his big feet. mouthful. But uh, as I was saying about Masuta, he would push ramp and took that space. He's been fighting Palace, as you outlined, Chad. He's, he's, he's found a real backbone and, and trust in his play. Very, very cool to see it transpire. Now his responsibility becomes that of Connect 3. Heard Dennis, he made no secret of that. Pulls the pin, throws one of his own right Dead. into the toes. 54 left for Dennis, even less as he emerges onto the staircase. And as that smoke fades, he's got a death sentence signed. Masuta, the one with the wet ink. Well, there's two in there, this could be big. And Never mind. mind. Double kill for Masuta. Third, not quite. Spitty dinked. But their chances of this round are really dwindling. D Hurt, we knew where you were. So did Sharks. He's contained him for now. Spitty's being hunted and a spectacular shot, but quickly traded. They just group up. They just start charging towards what little remains of Sprout, and it's very intimidating to watch unfold. I'm I'm a bit worried this is gonna feel like Vertigo, if I'm honest. Um I think if we, we were we were hoping to see something from Sprout, this would be the the, the, the indicator, right? We'd have seen it in the T side a little. We'd have seen a couple more of these rounds. At the moment, they feel very outclassed. Yeah, and um, I tried not to be too bleak in our pre-game yeah. setting all this up, but realistically, <laughs> Sprout making it this far, like I said, they've, they've overperformed to get to this point, right? They've surprised everybody and they did it in fantastic fashion. They had to play good Counter-Strike. You can only play the teams that are in front of you. And a Big was the domestic rival that they did take down. And then OG was the team that they had to send off to make sure that they were able to progress to this point. Keep in mind, Sprout of the high seed because they made it through the bracket quicker than Vitality. Vitality had to go through the lower bracket. Now, no one's saying that Sprout here were going to come in and win the entire event. As you can see that uh, we had NK in the pregame interview saying that potentially Big and OG underestimated them and didn't do their preparation. Well, it seems like Vitality have done their prep and their individuals are on point. So everything is going their way right now. Down to just pistols again, a scout here to play with. But I just want to continue to sing the praises of Vitality because what could happen here if NIP and Astralis goes in the favor of Astralis, we set ourselves up for the same semi-final that we had last year in ESO1 Cologne, which was Vitality taking on Astralis, where Vitality got the better of them. We all wanted to have Astralis versus Liquid in the grand final, but it wasn't to be. Vitality played spoiler, and then we had Liquid versus Vitality in that final. It was a uh, three to one best of five series. Nearly got all five. Closer than most, best of five finals. What a final, it's actually close. Mm -hmm. Doesn't happen in Counter-Strike often anymore. No, it's normally the semi The irony being the semi-finals are normally the better games. Yes. The grand final. And that was the case when we were last casting together about five years ago, Lauren, so it yeah. hasn't changed. Well, they've been given mid. Uh, That's lovely, that is. Spitty. Sharks is scout a little louder. But he only gets one, and that's going to put the orb into T hands. Now, the plant will become a, a crucial component, and that's now down. Spitty playing from short on a scout. Things are starting to sound realistic. Smokes and kits, though. Plenty for Vitality. They will have a chance to really close that gap and really nullify Spitty, if not frag him with... Oh, as I was just recovered his signature weapon. Bringing both the rifle and the orb up to the plate. Faven, as soon as, soon as he fires a shot, he will be smoked off. It's down to Snatchy first. He'll be the first contact here. That's the smoke now. This gets awkward. Faven missing his options now. He needs to find a one quickly. Swinging his RPK and now, yeah. I'm afraid. <gasps> Tag. Tags him. Oh, he misses him by an inch. Body blocking. Another chance. The body blocking. Oh. He hits him. There's no time and Spitty's done it. Just like that. That was wild. Sprout will find their third off the back of Spitty. It was all about him. The plant. The frag, the holding of his nerve. He kept his crosser in the right position. They were throwing their body, trying to protect the president. 
He starts the round off with a bang and he finishes it as well. Let's see that again. Zywoo had done enough, you thought. Avoiding the shots, kept it consistent and just like that blows the shoes off of Zywoo. That one's disappointing, but you can brush that one off, right? You, if, you, if your vitality there, that's not going to eat you away too much. Their money, however, that is where we start to look at some problems. So you can see them dropping guns across. Apex will be gifted one of those M4A4s, Masuta on the MP9. And this is where it could start to spiral for vitality. So if Sprout are able to post this round on the board, we start to see them finding themselves in a competitive T half. With the scoreline at 8-3 to three, and each round being so far apart from one another, it's a difficult task. You've got Apex on 120 ATR, Masuta on 102, Shox on 98, Zywu on 96, and RPK over towards that B-bomb site with 51 to his name. But that kind of tells the picture here that the, vi the Vitality individuals, they are really going hammer and tong right now. Shox will actually have the primary AWP into this round right here, and he's taking it towards B. We'll get boosted up by RPK. That means he doesn't have to jump over the van. And there's actually an inquisitive push over towards Palace at A at the same time. So if they want to go further than this, they will see it's clear. And that might cheat the rotation over towards the B bomb site. Because using the radar, we can see that there are two members in the B holes. Two to two, sorry, three towards top middle. With Snatchy pushed very far forward with that AWP. You can see what I mean about how in flux they stay. Okay, so now Masuda's pushed forward. They have palace control. They're leaving Zywoo on the site with the M4 to deal with ramp and day. And now Apex is rotating over. Oh, the wow. patience. Trigger discipline. Redundant. When Faven, Dennis, all filling the feed. RPK's timing's only got him one. And so we will see the B hit favorable for Sprout. And you said it wasn't alarm bells yet. This is the most convincing round we've seen from Sprout so far on their T side of their map pick for survival at ESL 1 Cologne. This will put the fourth on the board, Chad. Yeah, this is what we needed. We needed them to start stringing rounds together to see if they can be competitive at all in this series. Now, this is good signs because at the moment, the money for Vitality, it's, uh, as we say, and as Lauren had to experience recently, a bit of bin juice. It's uh, soggy, smelly. You don't even know what type of foods have come together to make that little concoction. I was really upset. I'd left it there overnight, which is my bad. I should have taken it out the day before, but I was like, ah, I'll do it in the morning. Oh, you fool. Bin juice. On bin the floor. juice. And what are those nasty Australian birds that love bin juice? Nasty Australian What's the name? birds that like bin juice. Yeah, that's one for you to think about. Uh, crows tend to be. Ah, the now they're like lot. weird looking. We don't have them outside of your your neck of the woods. Weird looking. Yeah, they're like long. They got like black faces, long fa long necks maybe a little bit. They got a weird name. Magpies. No, dude, we have all of those. We've it's an exotic them. bird in my mind. Um, well, it, we call, probably call it like a pegu or something. Well, we have, we have, cool, we have got kookaburras, but that's not what you're oh, talking oh. about. I believe it's ibis. Ankershun, yeah. Rushley, that's MC green. Helped me but they're, that. they're more around the water, though, aren't they, MC? He's going to have to relay through Rush. I'm just, MC, if I type in know, ibis bin juice. In the city, that bin apparently. Juice. <laughs> oh, that's over. See, in, in Perth, we don't have any of that nonsense. We've got the black swans. Yeah, someone wrote a song called The Ibis Song, actually. Aren't they in Florida? I think I've seen them. In and the first picture, Chad, of an Ibis... Is in a bin? Is, ...is putting his nose in a bin. Okay, maybe that's a Melbourne and Sydney We're thing. Onto something. It, Chad's always like, it's like, oh, it's not my Australia. Not this... No, <laughs> my no. Australia. And ah. Dog Swamp, we ain't got none of them. You keep saying Dog Swamp. I, wa I worked ah. there at a Woolworths for a couple of years as a produce manager. I spent the majority of my life... That's Perth, Chad. That's so boring in and a vague. lovely In a lovely suburb called Woodvale. Now, that does sound more realistic. Mm. A wood veil. Next to Greenwood. That sounds like where murder mysteries go down. Yeah. Well, you know F1 now. It's just around the corner from Daniel Ricciardo. I think he was across the road yeah. in Greenwood or Edgewater. Yeah, cool. we're pretty close to each other, old, old Daniel. Don't know him at all. Hey, well, I mean, you, you're, you're both kind of doing the same thing, the whole yeah. Australian charm. Oh, one of, one of us is doing it better than the other. I'm going to say he's got me covered. Yeah. On the way. And you don't outwardly say I'm funny and good looking as much as him either. Oh. Okay, maybe I need to do that more. Yeah. So the saved rifle will be on Masuta going for another little fact-finding mission towards A. This seems to be the realm that he is the most comfortable. But meanwhile, the attack over towards the B bomb site is coming on in. It's just Apex with the Silence USP. So he, he might be able to, to get do? one. What on earth is he supposed to do with this? Nothing. Snatchy. Just as his boots hit the ground, he's capable of pulling out that zoom banger. And they do look to be retreating, scarpering, relocating. Has he got the moves? Oh, the tank. Moves like a tank. But certainly does have the destructive capacity. Just trying to contain their way out here will be Faven, who shouldn't have any issues with Shoxie unless we got some mad double dink story. 
jumps. Fair play, no armor. Wants to remain a mobile target. But there it is. You said they have to make a strong case. Well, now we're starting to see the case being made. It is going to be up against just the pistols, so obviously not too much hard work or heavy lifting required, but it translates into a round, and every round is worth the same. This needs to heat up a little bit. I feel yeah. like we're simmering right now, like we were on Vertigo. It's just ticking along, and it feels yeah. like the most logical conclusion is eventually Vitality win. We just, I, I, I said, it's we're, we're waiting on that spark from Sprout, and right now they're doing fine. Um, five rounds. It doesn't look bad on the mm. board, but then I think we kind of take stock of what we were seeing. We kind of wanted to see Sprout somewhat humble. Vitality slow down the the play style, don't allow that aggression, keep the economy a little lower, which I guess they're going through the motions of. But it's still a, a leading scoreline on their map choice, right? So it's it's a little rough to see it, and obviously after Vertigo being what it was, it's hard to get past that too. There's nothing saying the Sprout can't close this out. If they close the last couple sure. of rounds, game back on will we'll come alive, you know? It it just has to show there's no point being disingenuous about this. I think everyone knows there's an underdog in this and we, we have to kind of keep it within that realm that they're the ones that have to set the bar here. They have to set the bar that we have to then go, all right, this is a game on our hands, rather than going, oh, maybe it'll happen next round. But eight to five, this is on the way. This is the sort of approach that you need to see. These rounds can't fade away from them. There has to sh there, there has to be this real validity in play. Yeah, it is time for case to be made. And they've got two more rounds to do it. Certainly possible. Full weapon round. So strap yourselves in, folks. We should be in for a scorcher. Dennis lurking the apps. He has to stay alive. Keep those players with their feet planted on B. Bomb top mid. Not intention towards the site just yet. Nice draw of fire. It's Zaiwu to be dealt with at B. It's good information right there for Dennis to be able to get. So they have been hitting this B bomb site and doing splits on it regularly. The three round spree that are on right now with the bombs going down. Dennis, you have to be careful, my friend. Zaiwu, he just needs the tip of that head and he will go for the fight. So a nade to push him back, Molotov to hold him at bay. But Sprout have done a good job in the last few. That will guarantee the buy in the last round of the half, regardless of what happens here. Whereas on the other side of things, Vitality, if they lose this, they go into the last round with only a $2,900 loss bonus. That's a force buy. That's MP9s. That's Deagles. That's not a gun round. Looks like it'll be an A split. 35 seconds. Snatchy's so convinced this fight's coming short. He'd be right to think so. And now he can draw the trigger. Another frag. D here onto one. RPK could do multiple here. Dennis in trouble. In jeopardy. Spitty's down half. He's the one with the bomb. He's got to get across. And it's right down the tank's line of sight. Deha falling, losing his teammates. RPK does catch him eventually and just Faven. Desperately with just 10 seconds. He can't even retrieve the bomb in time. Trying to jump across. Respect the effort to jump the line of sight. But that's nine for Vitality and set now for that last round. You did mention it, Chad. It was a lot on the line there. Could have been the difference between a 10-5 a and an 8-7 half. Yeah, and saving three guns there, especially the AWP, is huge. The fact that RPK gets an AWP kill. Remember the other Daleks, we were talking about Rain not having too many AWP frags? Oh, well, yeah. I don't remember seeing RPK get too many. And in his entire career, playing CSGO, RPK only has 55 AWP kills. So that one right there, we can make it 56. And now if I look at how many AWP kills he's had in 2020, it's been three. Woo! So he's fourth. He's fourth AWP kill. He's nearly got an ace across the year with the AWP. Mathematically, statistically, nothing else. It is going to be Masuta smoking out the Molotov himself. It is an invitation for a nade, and it seems that the one has landed square on his jaw into Diha. Now, shocks. Forced to solo hold A, and had he missed it, we could have seen the acceleration into the site jungle. There's a gap. Look at Zaiwu. I don't oh, think he's ready for away. this. And Dennis can blow his head off. This is their best shot. Looking to finish strong. 3v3, and Shox is hitting more shots with the AWP. Nice wall bangs from Dennis. He's keeping him in it. They've got to dig in deep here. This is the one they need. Speedy and Dennis, the classics. The two that you'll know, the German fans, if they were in a stadium, would be definitely watching with bated breath here. But for now, the pace slows as Dennis tries to find an option, looks for a way forward, spots Apex, gets him down. Game back on, but RPK's found a target in Speedy. He takes the fight on Dennis. Oh! Baby, if there's any side to do it on, it's the CT side. So let's see what the youngsters got. 
So my, my worry begins for Sprout in the last three months within the top 20. They've not played a single game against that sort of level opponent. So this could be a different T side to handle, especially against the likes of Vitality. But we'll find out now if they're up to the task. How bad do they want it? Can they take us to the next map or no? Dennis puts down a preemptive smoke, nicely played. Masuta on the receiving end and Favon and Speedy in lovely combination. Yeah, and that's the bomb. Apex could not really have any less options available to him. My goodness. RPK were trying to sneak behind enemy lines, and yeah, this one's going to fall flat on its face. Shocks with no armor and no teammates. It's, a, it's just a matter of time. Snatchy is kind to us and ends it quickly. So that's a 10 to 6. Nice work from Sprout. They needed that to get out of the gates uh, with pace and with weapons. Let's not forget they'll equip themselves nicely and quite the opposite for Vitality in that 2k region. No bomb plant, no cash, no reason to invest. Let's see if we can see how that started off. So that was just the lurk on A, and then that was just Apex's last ditch attempt before. Oh, it was a nice, nice little angle ad adapted by Snatchy. The AWPer tends to know his angs. So Apex has invested here into a P2 Fiddy. The rest of them will just be on those clocks. They get a dink, they get a kill. That's looking quite nice. More damage done. Faven falls. This is actually pretty tasty. Apex won't be able to plant the bomb there, but... Quite naughty. Yeah, getting like anything it. done with Glocks at that range. The fact that they took the pack mentality, tried to draw the rotation. Basic CS, but almost stuck the landing right there. And Faven, there he goes. Three kills already in this second half. One on the pistol, two of them here. I said he needs to come alive. It is very important for him. Now, the AK-47s are coming out. Shox has opted for a MAC-10, and this tells me one thing. It might be a rush in play. He has a good spawn heading towards those B apartments. So if they go quick onto the B bomb site, there's actually a four-man A lean from Sprout here. This could be perfect. Snatchy. I hope you're ready for this. This is going to be do or die for him. He has to make this stick. Apex putting down Util in mid. Keeps Snatchy's attention drawn towards short. Looks back, sees two. In danger, down he goes. It's game on. Vitality flood the site and they're way ahead. Even Shock's probably kind of confused. Wait, it's only him? Wait, I've gone this far? No contact? So much room. Oh, gosh, and I don't know whether or not Sprout really want to have even the conversation. I think you'd rather Thanks. dig in. But, I, I mean, gambling so many onto A. Vitality A, happy to collect their, themselves their first round of this T side. Can't That's quite believe their luck, is. but Shox is looking to <gasps> hunt. What was he up to, Diha? Does manage to adjust in time. That could have been the loss of a whole lot of his cash. I think you're happy to trade the round for the stalemate here. Chasing these M4s, it might be a little bit too costly for Vitality. And while we all know... With the bomb going off, it's not going to be enough to get them a full buy in the following for their individuals. So hold on to the AKs, hold on to the rifles, make sure you don't give away much on either side. Both teams are happy with the outcome after that opening kill on the B bomb site. Vitality tick up now to 11 rounds. Sprout hold on to four rifles. Snatchy will be able to get dropped again in the following. Dennis can drop an M4 or Faven can do so the same. And this is all it took. One kill in the round. Well, sorry, make it two. Deha there going to try and elevate himself up and over. Lucky with the timing, makes it work. And Shox has actually gone for the Mac 10 again. Oh, so spawn. I Do can see him looking towards the B side of the map. Masuta as well. Maybe they could just rinse and repeat this one right here. They're doing a four-man B stack or... Yeah, Shox is actually going towards A with this. So this is very curious. Wow, this is a... I'd say we could have a good half a Counter-Strike ahead of us here. But he's not going to be having too many issues with Masuta. Good handling. Is he ready for RPK, though? He wasn't. We'll take a weapon upgrade. And he took that fight with a bomb on his back. That tank knew he, was, he had his enemy in his sights. Yeah, that one had me a little bit quizzical right there, just swinging and taking the fight. So RPK confident in his ability. Has evil, even things up to 4v4. After throwing some nades over towards A, Shox and Co. have dipped back over towards B, and now he's leading the charge with that MAC-10 again. A little bit of utility, flashes and mollies, no smokes to work with. But no one at Van really looking to stop this. It's just Dennis. Oh, oh they missed the molly. That's a problem. They're isolated. Look at it. Zywoo's ahead. RPK behind. Shocks went down. It's a bit of a trouble. Oh, my gosh. That's Zywoo taking control of the round. And he's going to get some more as well, folks. Oh. Zywoo's got it for you. No issues. Swift fist bumps in Vitality HQ. As just as it started to get a little awkward, Miss Nades, dead players. Zywoo shows up with a collapse, sprays down the first two, and the others just weren't really ready. Let's see that again. So quick collection. Oh, B damn. is open, and there's the rotate dead as well. Not a single adversary shooting back at Zywoo. Quick to the punch. Quiet 20. 
20 again for Zywa. This is the thing, right? I go on death segments after. I'm like, yeah, Zywa, you know, he had a pretty quiet game. RPK actually owned. And then you look at the stats, it's like Zywa was at the top. He just owned everybody. But for Zywu fashion, you're expecting him to drop 30, 40, 50, you know. Yeah, we hold it to a little bit of a different standard. Oh, snatchy. 20 HP is not nice. Twinkle toes over there. <laughs> oh, dear. Am I on nuke again? Is this is this those weird and wonderful starts that make me confused and scared? Just kill through smoke, small no, almost murder. You can calm down a little bit for okay. this one, thankfully. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's going to be just as much question marks above our heads true, after true, true. the uh, the gameplay. d -hat with an armored deagle. He's just going to be hoping to get something done, as, as Chanted often reminds us. Even in defeat, taking weapons away. It's an achievement in itself when you're playing that macro game. Playing for the long game. But you can see how Vitality are, are procedurally starting to mm -hmm. clear. I love the way they've got, who is it, Shocks yep. and Zyru just posted up. He can't really leave. They've even got then Masuta watching out a pass. There's, there's an area he can be in, and that's it. Beautifully done. These guys are very aware. Very good map control. Um, I don't think we need to sing the praises of Vitality sometimes because it, it feels so such a given, but they're so good. Just on the subtle things, on the on the small things as well as obviously popping off and having someone like Zywu RPK go, go mad. Yeah, this one here for everybody at home, once again, the logical conclusion was Vitality taking this series. Any fight that Sprout could put up, anything that they could really offer us here to see why there was a lot of hype around their victory over OG. I think there's... Coming out of the break, there is uh, always some wobbles from some of the bigger names. Vitality actually will be taking a pause here, so they don't want to let this one get away. They don't want to allow Sprout to get back into things, and Sprout, well, they want to get back into it with mm. the double orb. So we saw that over on Vertigo. It'll be Deha and Snatchy, Snatchy wielding the two of those. Uh, there's only one Molotov in play at the moment, so we'll see if Deha wants to buy into something else. A bit of typing between the teams here, so hopefully everything is okay as we get back underway. I think Deha will probably go for Kevlar. Oh, he's gone for head armor in a flash. So one molly and four smokes, a few flashes. Not the most ideal for the CT side of defense right here, but with the orbs, they might want to play a little bit more heads up. The run boost, if they can pluck Apex out of the air. Oh, they're going to be in the wrong place at the wrong time here, I think. It's clear. That's a dream right now for Apex. Oh, that's not bad, though. Nice little peek back out from Snatchy. Keeping the T's on their toes, give them just enough room to think they have that mid control and snatching it away. We've only seen one of the two orbs, not heard the other ring just yet, but Snatchy readjusts, repositions, and now he's got a new angle to look at. Cool, oh, right, chance. Lucky boy. Squandered. You hear Molly, you can't really continue to swing on this, and he is exposed. Hello. The long boy. He gone. Nice work from Snatchy to keep us competitive. And the numbers do favor Sprout for the retake. He's going to be playing it back from ramp. In fact, two of them aggressively holding. Shock Sandwich, Masuta above him. Two different lines of sight. They need to get some frags. That's why the flash is there. And that's why the frags are not. Looks like Sprout have got themselves their eighth. And they can thank Snatchy for that. He said Faven has to wake up. Snatchy, a very capable fragger. He's been around the Polish fragging realms for many a year. Good to see him in an international squad. Good to see him picking it up when it matters. Sprout finding eight. And a quick check in on what the grand scheme is. So we're actually three to three in the half. My brain can't do that math automatically. Maybe yours can. So I think it's, uh, look, Vitality pushing forward there and not allowing the retake to come in was smart. They weren't able to hit those heads up jewels. And I say that because Sprout had a bunch of smokes for the retakes, but he also had a kit. They could have been isolated and life could have gotten a little bit more awkward. But you can Double. see here, they're well aware the orbs are out in play, and it looks like they will just be setting up for an A execute. If Zawi can find an opening here on Deha, thinks better of it, and that's a good call. This A execute should be coming on in after that Molotov slowly starts to be whittled on down. A lot of pressure over towards middle. Molotov towards the mid box. They're trying to clear that out. Pushing for information now. The window for Vitality to attack is this very second. The smoke's going down. Don't separate and segregate. <gasps> Deha. Unforgivable miss. Is he alive? He is. Lives to fight another day. These double ops will have a chance to contest with the A hit, but there is no rush to this. There is no pace. Forced out by the French. They've got flashes. Apex is likely going to try and get them towards the jungle position. Oh, I don't oh know. Oh my god. On that. 
And a missed oh shot again. God. Oh dear, he's orbs. They're supposed to be the difference maker and they're both gone. RPK sweeping into the site for Vitality's 14. Shocks, continuing pressure. Dihad locked towards CT. Somehow the T's are keeping this one really, really close. I thought that was wrapped up. Bow on it and all, but no, the CTs have held this just enough for this retake to have a bit of leg to it. Now RPK is tagged up. Two kills already to his name. Excuse me? I'm amazed that was allowed to happen. I'm not sure what this post plant positioning was. I'm sure we can have a breakdown, but Apex in the 1v2. Smoke goes in. Kit in with Dennis and Faven. Both of them still standing. Not on the bomb. Nice work from Apex. Dennis now. It's all on you, buddy, and Apex knows it. He knows he's not on the bomb. Nicely played by Apex, but that post plant, I got nervous. Yeah, I think there might have been a little bit of miscommunication there. There wasn't a lot that RPK was able to do. You were right, he was tagged, he couldn't really pick, and Masuta just caught watching the wrong way. Unawares if there was going to be an A ramp flank coming into play, but that double from RPK, that was the big one, and he gets his third right there. So the tank connecting with Apex, the two old boys, getting him across the line for round number 14. And the coach, X-Cat's happy with that one right there. So the in-game leader getting it done as the force buy from Sprout, the last ditch attempt for them to stay in this series for their life in Cologne will be snuffed. And even that's an opening. Yeah, that's a dream. And unfortunately, it becomes a reality very quickly afterwards. Shocks puts him in the grave. Like Deha and Snatchy. Yeah have completely pushed out. They're in T-spawn right now. And in the meantime, Dennis has trying to do some magic of his own, playing around the smoke. Zai was checking the push. He'll actually clock Diha on the side of the jaw with his Kalashnikov. We're into a four versus three shock. It's perfect, the underhand. Dennis doing the dance, it's perfect. Costs him a great deal of health, but the numbers advantage really slipping away. Speedy does finish off onto Shoxy, but the bomb's going elsewhere. Overachieving Speedy. Didn't need the headshot, but he's gonna go for it. And Snatchy, as I was not that low. Okay. <laughs> Found them. Um, Close lines. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, Speedy in the 1v3 post plant. If if they had been lower, maybe. But no, they've 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 held firm here, vitality. And I think again, this is a closer game. I don't want to take much away from Sprout. They are putting up a couple of fights here and there. But this will be 15 on the board, and suddenly we're in the kind of GG. It's done. Move on category. Well, we have uh, Chaos taking on Liquid tonight as Zywoo, here's the scope, will drop. If Spitty can get away with the AK, that's something, but look, he's okay. pinned on in. If he jumps out the window, Apex is ready. Ta -da! Thank you. Please come again. Okay, can we, I just want to, because we're not doing the, the game later. No, we're not. That's the other group. I'm nervous that Jason's going to have a bit of a mental breakdown on this one. Well, did, did you see yesterday his reactions, obviously, when they were winning, when they were losing? He doesn't have Is any it? hair to pull out, and that's not even a bold joke. That's just the fact of the matter. Jason? I love Jason. He's got to get stressed in another way. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. You know, and uh, yeah, I'm sure there is a whole lot more stress in his life. I, I'm living the caster life. I know that there's a, de there's, there's a very <laughs> small degree of stress. Yeah. Uh, I have to decide what to wear every day. Pretty much. And, and that's even, difficult. I mess that up half the time. Like, yeah. <laughs> bloody hell. All right, Snatchy, Deha, you got to do it, boys. We, th it's been a miracle run for Sprout. It's been wonderful seeing them get this far, but they needed to show up here on this map. This was their realm. This was the case for them to really hold their own and make it even further. Excellent performance, but it might end just now, and Vitality might be at the helm of it. Nice shots from Zaiwu so far, but just feels like a formality at this point. Slowly spreading and fragging their way into the semi-finals. Vitality two frags away. It does look like the French have done it. Sensational results from them so far here at ESL 1 Cologne 2020 online. They knocked out their domestic rivals in Heretics. They took